They sang songs here once. Songs of heroes, courage and strength. Even after a war silenced a generation of voices of women and children, they still sing songs here. Songs here were often stories, and this is one such song, a story of survival and the will to believe in forgiveness and the beginnings of hope. You might think that you've heard this story. You'd be wrong about that. This is a story about a fork in a road, about how people choose to move forward and how others are doing the choosing for them. Many now are watching Uganda to see what it does next, how they fight for their future, whose voices are heard first and whose voices are heard loudest. But now there has emerged a great divide between how we, from afar, choose to speak about the future of Uganda. I don't think the Jeep of Peace talks would have occurred without the ICC. And how the people themselves wish to move on and speak for themselves. Uh, even the ICC were told that uh, we are the victims, you are not the victim. And we are saying that uh, if he can only come back, for us we are ready to forgive. The story of the war in northern Uganda is not yet over, and for some, it never will be. But now, as the circle around Africa's most wanted man, Joseph Kony, inches ever closer, these voices from the ground are in danger of being drowned out. 